I wanted to ask you this question, and I actually I added it onto the list, and actually uh, I forgot about it. But your signature laugh, where'd that come from? <laughs> My name is Arik of Awesome. Tap straight. Ha 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 ha. Another awesome episode with Irik and. This episode, this interview did get hindered by my ISP. Uh, don't worry, I'm screaming at them, but I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Optimum sucks. So I hope that with this video gets enough views that people will uh, at, at Optimum will either. Co if you have a connect at Optimum, let me know or let them contact me because I'm sick and tired of Optimum at, at this point. I've been having this problem for five years. It really reared its ugly head while I was trying to in interview Irik. And it sucks, but we still got through it. So I appreciate Irik for his patience, and I appreciate your your guys for your patience. So if things seem kind of out of place or maybe out of touch, it's because my internet dropped like four or five times throughout this this interview. So I appreciate your patience. Thank you very much for watching, and please like the video. <laughs> um, I get that question a lot actually. Um, so Family Guy, you know Family yeah. Guy, right? I don't know if you've ever seen an episode where Peter thinks he's a pirate. Um, I don't think and I have. so he thinks he's a pirate. So he's just like kicking indoors. He's like, nah. <laughs> so I wanted that to be my thing. And I think the first time I attempted to do it, I did it wrong. And it came out like, ha ha. Like and it just <laughs> came out like that. And, it just kind of stuck. Nice. So now people like know you for that for that laugh now, right? That is a hundred percent. Like it's funny because like so last night I was streaming, and um, I host customs, so people see customs in the title and they just drop by. Yeah. And um, he's like, "Wait a minute, are you the tap strafe haha guy?" I'm like, yes, that is <laughs> that is me. So they don't know the face. They don't know. They just know the voice. So a hundred a hundred percent. Yeah, I you know the fun the funny thing is I actually didn't know about the laugh because I guess I must have just not have been there that often, to, for, like when you do it and when I watch your videos I like rarely see it, <clears throat> and then I got suggested a video probably like two or three weeks ago where I was like, you started doing it and I was like okay that's interesting and then I saw another video with you in it and another video and I'm like wow. That's kind of cool. I mean, I also scroll through through the for you page, so it might just be you know, yeah. That's like the only time that I really get to like watch stuff is like when I'm scrolling, and then like I'm just letting the algorithm just you know su suggest shit to me, and I'm like, oh, I guess this is right. this is it. So, uh, that's oh, we can curse. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you can curse. Shit. Yeah, you can curse all all you want. All right. Um, shit, damn. Yeah. Curse all you want. <laughs> this is uh, it's not going to be censored. This is more of a again casual co co conversation. So we're doing. You know we're 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 gonna be uh, little to no e editing in this. We also don't have different cam camera views. I I think in the future I might do like one where I, you know, have one on myself and then may may maybe have the guest have one on on themselves and then we'll kind of like I'll have to edit out different parts just to kind of keep it interesting. But for right now we're Got we're it. keeping it simple. Um, so how did you get into Apex Legends? Um, 2019. Uh, I had my two cousins, they stayed with me uh, from Arkansas. We were working together, and I was a Halo guy. Like, I I, I grew up on Halo. Yeah. I've only played, like, maybe – I didn't play any of, like, the OG CODs. I've never played them. Um, So I have I was like, Halo, you know, all the way. And they're like, you should play Apex. And, like, <laughs> we used to, like, you know, party, and then, you know, we wake up at, like, noon, hungover, and I wake up and I'm like, what are you guys, what, what is this game you're playing? This is like season two yeah. of Apex. And they're just like all into it. I'm like, this is stupid. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> and like one day they're like, no, you should play. And I played it. I'm like, this is awful. Turn this <laughs> off. And I, and I went back to Halo. And then like they stayed with me for a whole summer and I just, you know, played it and I was so bad. <laughs> I was like so bad because I played it like Halo. I'm running around two shotguns, like not understanding the concept of this game. Yeah. Um. But yes, yeah, someone introduced uh, introduced me to it, and I started playing full time around like season four. Nice, full time season four. You are are you a full time content creator now? No. Um. I am an accountant. 
pretty nice. much. Uh, so my day is actually pretty hectic. I get up at 5.30 in the morning, uh, go to work at 6. Uh, I come home around 4.30. I either stream. I, no, I make a quick dinner. Yeah. Air fryers are the best. Oh, yeah. The streamers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Air fryers are everything. Yep. Um, uh, so I make a quick meal. I either stream for a couple of hours, or I make content and then edit it, or I stream for a couple of hours. Then, like, quick, like quickly go through my vibe, see what I had, edit, go to sleep like eleven. Yep. Eat, sleep, repeat. Like it's it's a long day. Um. Yeah, so do you save time doing uh or do you try to save time doing the recordings during during stream like hey guys, thanks for tuning in to TikTok or whatever, you know like your intro and then yeah, you do. A hundred percent. So like the TikTok I posted yesterday about the you know, the dumbass uh who dropped a hard R. Yeah. I made a conscious effort. Like there were multiple takes midstream yeah. to make that TikTok. Like, hold on, guys, we gotta do that one again. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes like when you know you have something, like hold on, we're gonna try that again. So so definitely, but sometimes it's a little bit harder now because like I don't play Apex on stream anymore because I've like tripled my CCV mm. um, over the summer. I've went from like sixteen to close to fifty nice. um, from June to now. Uh, uh, so it's a little bit harder to get content. I have to get it all on the weekends now, pretty much. Um, Sorry. So, yeah, when we get something. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. You're My good. bad, dude. Oh, um, no, you're good. I, I, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I've got two days to get whatever. Um, but yeah, like when we get something, we got to make a conscious effort to try to get it right. And I just mark it like, okay, two hours and nine minutes into the stream. And I just jump right into CapCut because I'm a self-taught editor. Yeah. Uh, to get in there and just make it real quick, and then just hop in there and make it, and hopefully I can get to sleep by midnight so I can get up at five thirty. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm actually self self-taught myself. Uh, what uh right. what what program are you currently using right right now? Are you I only Cap? So I use uh, Streamladder to uh like to make the you know to make them TikToks or whatever yeah and streamline is really cool because now like they have like ai that'll do the captions and you know they're animated they move around and stuff like that they'll add emojis if you want them to but i just use CapCut uh for pc it's free and it's uh so easy a caveman can do it so um if i want something you know like you know a little bit more you know advanced um i just i i just pay somebody yeah um like i i can't use adobe premiere that that's too much <laughs> i don't have time to learn that. I, don't, I don't i don't have time right now to learn that i i agree it, it is tough to learn uh new new softwares especially uh have you paid anyone to do your videos before yeah a, a bunch of times um almost all of my you i don't think i've edited any of my youtube videos that are longer than like a minute and a half what what are you using are you using like fiverr are you finding people finding close friends um so uh do you know uh brother enoch the uh, Apex streamer? yes yes so uh he has a he has a uh uh group called full-time entertainment where he teaches you to be a content mm. a full-time content creator i am in that discord um I met a really good editor, Tony DeFoney. Shout out to him. Uh, so I use him. And then uh, I met someone who used to work for EA um, who was laid off during the pandemic. I use her as well uh, for – she edited the majority of my uh, of my Apex video. So nice. I just met her through Twitter. Nice. Um, Fiverr is just like a whole scam. <laughs> Fiverr is just – it's, it's it's like thirty times worse than Craigslist, right? <laughs> I've been using Fiverr for quite some time. I've I've paid a good amount of money for Fiverr and Upwork. I found a decent person on Upwork. I've heard a lot of different creators that found good people on Upwork. Um, but yeah, Fi Fiverr has been a hit or a miss, but mostly a miss. Um, a lot of the times I found they aren't very creative, so they haven't really they like so essentially they're using a template, right? Then they're just putting that it's, template, it's like especially for um, what is it called for like thumbnails? They're just using a template. If you ask them to go outside of that template, they like 
they're like wait how do i do that and you're like you have no you you're not an artist are, like, are you like <laughs> it's like have you gotten those dms in discord like hey can i show you something i'm a graphic artist have you gotten those DMs i've gotten e emails and i actually emailed one of the people back but go on i'll, I'll tell you in a second <laughs> But yeah, like you get those and it's just like the rudimentary, like the, like the, the overlays or the emotes. It's like that everyone makes. Yeah. Like, and it's just like, is this even your work? Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, where did you, where did you get this from? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, I can make logos and it's just like that, like that, the the logo that everyone has, yeah. like this kind of animated. It's like I'm a sword, yeah, yeah, with the with the letters at the bottom. Yep. Like it's just like what, yeah, what is this <laughs> exactly? And they always <laughs> try to act like they're your friend at first. Like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I didn't know you stream. <laughs> what? Who are you? <laughs> where where did you come from? So so a com it's so a company started right uh, a, a while ago that I started with with a uh, a business partner not too long ago and um they the people the person same 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 thing they they wanted to sell us a service and they were like oh my god I've been running into your products all the time and I really want to, you know it's just that was how they started like I I love your products I I run into them all the time and I'm like so have you bought anything yet. <laughs> it's like you want me yeah. you want to sell me something but you haven't bought a product yet but you run into it all the time so clearly you don't believe in the product if you haven't bought it yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah i i it's been in my cart for months yeah <laughs> waiting for that discount <laughs> code on, just waiting for that three percent off yeah yeah i want to buy that four dollars it's a real is a real sticking point for me yeah but yeah like i think the first thing i ever bought on fiverr was a thumbnail and it, like now that i know because i i do i have made quite a few of my thumbnails and you know they're okay yeah um because again i'm just figuring out on the fly yeah. um but the first one i got it was just like oh my god what is this <laughs> like man i only pay like five bucks for it, and i guess you get what you pay yeah. for but it's just like bro come on yeah like this is just you just took the two pictures I gave you and just and just split the screen. <laughs> what like what are you doing? Yeah, that's 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 pretty much yeah. You're right. That's how Fiverr is, and that's that's what I was saying before. Where it's like if you ask them to go outside of their you know their template, they're, they're like they get so confused, and it's just like I remember one time gi giving somebody strict direction. I was like, do this, put this here, make this cartoon character hold this briefcase, and make the other hand like hold the money or whatever that was way too much for them like what i got was completely different from what i asked for <laughs> it just it just sent you a, a, a picture of bugs bunny <laughs> and you know 70 sam like bro like what? just say hey man here's your money back i can't do it yeah exactly well that's the thing too is like they'll do the iteration they're like unlimited iterations and then it's just like it's just never right after like five it of it nonsense, iterations of, of complete nonsense yeah the the other thing that that I wanted to say back backtracking a bit there was to uh the was it called uh the the guy that that emailed me I got an email I think three times for, from him following up right and finally he had like Logan Paul on his things like it didn't look like he actually did them so I went to him and I was like look I sh I sent him my channel and I was like here's my channel make me some thumbnails with a watermark on it so I can't steal it and let me know. Or, and then and then we'll see where, where that goes. And I and I have not heard back from him. <laughs> and I did that like four months ago. <laughs> so I'm like, you're not you're looking for like, like a bro. real partnership. You're looking for some BS. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I love I love my emails <clears throat> that I get. They're they're amazing. They're amazing. Like what? We want you to make. Let's hear. We want you to make <clears throat> three videos uh, that that you have to keep up forever in link in bio for one month. For seventy five dollars, like come on, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Those are those are ridiculous. Um, like oh, and we'll send you. And I haven't posted this on Twitter yet. I got one two weeks ago. Um, it was like from a jewelry company or something. And like I, I, I have the only jewelry I've ever had my entire life are smart watches. I've never had my ears pierced. I'm, I'm terrified of needles. <laughs> um, and it was just like. You know, we want you to make this video 
you know, da, 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 and we'll send you a piece of jewelry. Well, that means nothing to me because I don't wear jewelry. Yeah. And the jewelry is like $31. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not really accepting um, like any, you know, product or video uh, sponsorships right now. Uh, so, you know, if you have something where you're paying people, you know, please feel free to email me in the future. Very professional. You know, yeah. I've, I've worked in the corporate world. Oh, and this is what uh, this is what incensed me. They're like, "Oh, well, we do that because we want to gauge the performance of the video to see if we can work together in the future." Like, hold on. First of all, <laughs> like you emailed me, which means that you think that I can bring like uh, views to your product. So you want to send me your shitty jewelry? To see if I can make you go viral for free, and then you will reevaluate to see if you can pay me. I'm like, please do not ever talk to me again, because, like because you don't respect creators. And yeah. I know, and this is this is a PSA for all creators. Like you don't have to, do, you don't have to do this, right? Like I've taken product for you know for uh, for videos because yeah. I like the product. Like I have several. I know my camera's blurred, but I have several cam uh, controllers behind me because um, I wanted to give them away. And I thought it was generally cool, and I wanted to get my feet wet. You yeah. know what I mean? But, like, it has to be something that I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, hey, man, we want to give you a pack <clears throat> of thongs. All you got to do is put them on on stream. Like, hold on, wait. How much are you willing to like, pay, though? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, like, how, much, how much is that? Like, I will put... I will, I will wax ass and put these thong on. Put these thongs on. How long do I gotta have the link in the bio? But it's just like it's just it's just insulting. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's I get them every morning. Like we'll pay you seven dollars for a for eighteen one minute videos on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr. <laughs> Like, oh, I didn't even know Tumblr still existed. <laughs> I guess I'll make an account. I guess I'll make one. You said seven dollars. I can get it right now. Like, what the, what the hell? But yeah, I like, guess just it's just hilarious. Well, that that just goes to show you that they don't do research on you. They just they're just reaching out bulk, probably reaching out. Hey, we yeah, need you 100%. to make all this stuff for all these different you know plat platforms. And it's like, well, I'm not on tum Tumblr, so. Bye. <laughs> a hundred, uh, yeah, like, what do you... Or or they just flat out just send me stuff for, like, women. <laughs> like, I know I'm a little big and I got some man boobs, <laughs> but, like, a whole bra? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, well, the, you know, the other thing, too, is I actually haven't really gotten any sponsorships. I have 21,000 on YouTube and I have 23 on TikTok, and I haven't gotten any real people reaching out to me. I think maybe once or twice possibly, but they were like pretty much like the ones that you were, you know, that, that you were yeah. like, I reached out to turtle beach to get these headsets. So it was like, it's kind of, it's funny hearing that, you know, that you're, that you're getting all these reaches, especially from like, you know, scammers. Like I, I didn't really get reached out by scammers. Like, is my content really that bad? That's, the, that's the question here. It's, it, it's <clears throat> kind of weird. I think it's, be, I honestly think it's because I have quite a few videos that have went viral. Like my TikTok is like in the dirt right now. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying too. to figure out why, um, I'm trying to figure out why, like I've pivoted to this whole you know, make your video a minute thing. Uh, or, but like my TikTok is like in the dirt. I like, I literally don't gain followers. Um, if I'm not live, it's insane. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, I, I think I get it just kind of based on what my, like the, what my profile used to be versus what it is. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to what you said about research. Like if you looked at my engagement, recently you would run <laughs> you would yeah. run yeah somebody would get fired like why do you want to work with this guy look at this yeah. look at his <laughs> analytics for the past three months well that's why you don't show You're not you, you don't show him that yeah. <laughs> no but yeah yeah and we actually i actually have a i actually have a question about that i think mostly tiktok related because i know that you're going hard on tiktok so um but we're only on question two so the, all, all those questions yeah, I, yeah. i've asked you were out, were out of pocket yeah, you're good. You're good. Um, what was your most viral video? 
Um, it's definitely a tap strife video. Uh, oh, uh, so Lemonhead, uh, he's a he's a yep. he's a sore creator. Yep. Uh, he did a video where he just did this insane tap strafe. Um, like he, it looks like he's gonna jump off the map. And he tap strafes back on the map. Mm, I think I've seen so that I one. reached out. To, yeah, it's on Olympus. Mm. And he's like, I'm going to try something. If I die, shut up. <laughs> and um, I, I reached out to him because, like, you know, people, there's a lot of big creators who, you know, they like me, uh, even though I suck. Like, they think I'm funny <laughs> or whatever. Um, so I'm like, hey, man, do you mind if I, like, like, re like do my own version of this? He's like, yeah, go for it. So I, you know, I take the first part of the video. It's like, if I die, sh shut up. And I'm like, I think I can do the same thing. I do the exact same thing. I just fall off the map and I just get up and I just walk away. <laughs> I think it's at like 2 million views or something like that. And it's, it's like, it's still, it still gets traction like right now. And like a lot of people appreciate it. Like, I don't know. I like, I, people just find that like so funny. Like even like, like huge like movement creators like Moki Sniper like bro you started the tap strafe too early like people just like <laughs> they get in on the joke yeah you know what I mean so that's easily uh my my best video and I remember um because uh, uh, Apex has like a rotation of maps I remember waking up at I remember timing it I'm like all right Olympus is gonna be live at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. I remember not <clears throat> being pleased with the video because I used to be on a specific schedule. So I post my Friday videos at 3 a.m. my time. So I wake up at 3 a.m., post a video, and I go back to sleep. Um, and I remember I looked at it, I'm like, I don't like the way this was done. Um, so I woke up at 2 a.m. and did it again because that was the next time Olympus mm. was going to be available. I redid it. I redid it. I edited it. And then I woke up at 3 a.m. and posted it. And I woke up, and it was already... Like I woke up two and a half hours later, it was already at like seven hundred thousand views in like two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, that's easily my most viral video. Shout out to Lemonhead. Nice. Yeah, I actually I don't know if I reached out to him yet. I definitely want to get him on the podcast just to like talk about Apex and all like the his just his skill level and like kind of where he yeah he's yeah he is nuts. yeah he is he's I I I see his videos on occasion just scrolling through through the for you page. It's like. It, it's just the tap strafe and like the it's just so crazy how he just moves left and right constantly for like a good yeah. what like five six seconds just shooting and having perfect aim I'm, 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 obviously that takes skill and you know a lot of time and practice yeah. but it's just insane seeing that and then being like me just like getting like stopped in in like in just one place just shooting at somebody because I can't move because you know I got I got tapped in like the toe because I'm you know I'm I'm an assault player yeah and you get tapped and you can't and it, fucking move a hundred percent a hundred percent and then he's legit no one oh hey got very cheating that's what's really cool about. I never like heard people like oh well, he's you know he's cheating. Like he's like I think like he's put in the work like he got signed to Sora which is amazing you know what I mean like and he's super blew up on Twitch like over like the past like you know six to nine months or whatever yeah. shout out to him he's amazing <clears throat> yeah what's your uh, what's your first video about or what was your first vi video about and when did you post it uh, July twenty twenty one. Uh, my first video was, I think it was doing the 1738 challenge, like the, uh, Fetty Wap song. It was like, this is when I didn't understand what TikTok was. Cause I hadn't done research. I was working with a, a, uh, uh, Irish, uh, content creator. His name is X2 shoes. And, uh, for $30 a month, you could do, um, he, he would do an hour call with you, help you grow on Twitch. He's like, look, man, he's like, you have the personality. Like, you have to get a TikTok. You, you just have to. I know you don't like it. You have to. I'm like, fine. Um, so I got one, and I was, like, doing trend. And I didn't, like, I didn't understand. So the whole thing was uh, that song Trap Queen. Mm, yeah. Uh the whole thing was like drinking a bottle of water before he says 1738. Like you had to drink like a whole bottle. 
before that came on. That was my first video. It did nothing. <laughs> uh, it got like a solid 114. Like my first, it took me like a month to get like a video that got some traction. Uh, but yeah, that was my that was my first video. I didn't understand TikTok at all. I was just throwing stuff at the wall. Yeah, well, that's how most con- content creators start, right? Yeah, I didn't do I didn't do any research, <laughs> like none, because I still to this day, like, do not. I don't I don't scroll on TikTok much. I I, I just check my comments, respond to comments, and I leave. I don't scroll much. Yeah. Yeah, there's not there's not enough time of the day to scroll. I I usually scroll just just to kind of get a gauge of what people are talking about, and then I'll make my own version yeah. of it. Usually, that's that's what, yeah, that's, like, what that's what I do. When you're pooping, yeah, when you gotta, <laughs> that's the only time you got. <laughs> like when you're pooping. Um, I think I yeah, I already kind of asked you this. You 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 edit your own clips for TikTok, right, and not for like YouTube and stuff uh so shorts yeah because i i ah that's so annoying that like tick youtube pet like tiktok is like encourage videos that are longer than a minute and if you don't make them a minute in one second like for example it's really hard to repurpose it for a short yeah you know what i mean yep so like it's really really thrown off like it's easy a couple seconds out of a out of something, but like if a minute if a video is a minute and a half for TikTok, you cannot make that a short. Yep. It's like impossible. Yep. So we're we're trying to figure out a strategy, but yeah, I've 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 got a couple of like two minute YouTube videos, like regular videos that I've edited. Um, but yeah, I, I I've I edit the majority of my TikTok. Nice. Yeah, I've I what I used to do. I don't know if you've ever done this. I I used to create separate content, one for one for shorts and one for TikTok, and that was before the one minute long or one minute plus long vi- videos on TikTok. But I used to pretty much make separate videos. I I would also repurpose, but I would also make a separate video for for TikTok. Which I'm kind of doing that now, but I'm also not posting all the videos on YouTube back onto TikTok. I've uh, I've I've been kind of keeping it se- se- separate. So yeah, I'll I'll make a long one over one minute vi- video, and there's really no you games ever, to play. <laughs> do you ever find like if you post something on like TikTok for example, and then you post the exact same thing on Shorts, that one performs like dramatically better than the other? Yeah, all the time. Why do you think that is? It's just, it's just want to get your opinion. It's on a that. different audience, so. My audience on TikTok is younger than my audience on YouTube. So my audience on, on YouTube, I believe, is 25 to 45. And my audience mm-hmm. on TikTok is like, you know, 18, 18 to, to 24, like, like, to like 24 20, 25. Um, so that's that's mostly the reason why I've had videos. I mean, I have multi-million view, view videos on YouTube and only got like 800,000 on TikTok too. So it's, you know what I mean? Okay. It's like it's... Okay. It... it TikTok is a realm of crazy right right now, especially after that whole you know the whole court case and whatever else. There there's been a lot of you know talk and a lot of issues, and I feel like after that whole like government involvement with TikTok, all my videos have gone just downhill. Which I mean, I don't care. I don't really give a shit. I'm not really doing it for the views. I'm really doing it for the connections like this. I'm not really doing it to like you know I right. I want to make a game and I'm making one right now. It's like almost done, but. I this is what I tell almost everyone that that I that I interview. Like I'm not really in in, in it for the views. I'm in it for the the connections and the communication. Uh, right. I, I I want my game to obviously go places and be able to reinvest all the profit into making it better because I feel like that's not what's happening right now in all these corporate <laughs> all these corporate made games. So um, you know this podcast really is just to make a difference in in the gaming uh, space. I mean you know you 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 may think it's it's where it's where it should should be, which is fine if you don't. You know, I'm not gonna judge you if with whatever but uh i i saw a especially a gap in call in call of duty so i'm constantly trying to make something better um and that's really the ultimate goal of this whole thing it's not really to be famous or anything like like that or to make millions of dollars so um but yeah to answer your question well, it's, yes it's interesting you say that because like i know i've i watched two of your <clears throat> podcasts and skimmed through a couple i think i'm like one of the few creators you interviewed that only plays one game Mm. Um, so like, 
EA is like a prime example of everything that you're trying to change. You know what I mean? Like they buy everything and then they just kind of, you know, ruin everything. Like I'm not, I'm not a complainer. You know what I mean? Like I love Apex like so much, Uh, but if you, if you pay attention to Apex at all, you know, most people, all EA is, you know, ruining the game and all they want to do is buy skins. It's like, well, you know, first don't buy them. Yeah, uh, you exactly. Know, like <laughs> the easiest thing to do in life, if you don't like something, is to protest with, with your wallet. Yeah. Like if an heirloom came out and zero people bought it, you know how fast EA would do whatever you wanted. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But yeah, like you're you're a hundred percent right. Like there is a there is a problem in gaming in general because it's so profitable. You know, a long time ago, uh, you know these big companies, it was like, hey, we just buy it, just buy everything. You know what I mean? Like, look at yeah. Microsoft acquiring all those companies and they're, you know, buying everybody to the point where government's like, no, you can't do this. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, we can. And they won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they won. And, you know, like, Bungie created one of the greatest games of all time. Halo. You know what I mean? And then Microsoft and all these people. And then, and then Halo got progressively worse. Worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, just an example. But, yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool you're doing that or yeah you want to do that yeah yeah well i mean the the other thing too the, the future application which I, I, don't, I don't know if you've actually seen the episodes of, of it but you know i i talk about this a lot the future a- application of this is especially for xbox and i think adam conover mentioned this publicly first i had it in, in my brain but i i didn't say anything and i watched this video and i was like damn it but the problem with Microsoft and, and certain companies, PlayStation, a- acquiring these things, especially if they have a platform that they're trying to sell you, is that you will get to a point where Game Pass right now is eighteen ninety nine. It was. Like, they were giving it away for a dollar for like a year plus yeah. at first. Mm-hmm. Then it became like 10 something. Then, then it was like, I think, 12 something. Then it was 16 something. It just went up to eighteen ninety nine. So the yep. people that aren't paying attention to that are going to have a problem in the future. Like eventually it's going to be like, yeah, you can get a limited game. So you have to pay $150 a month, which is what we're heading towards. I don't know if it's going to be that high. I'm assuming that that's what's going to happen. It may not. They may go like the Netflix route and probably do like maybe 20 something dollars a month. Um, but there's going to be limitations. It's not going to be like all the games forever. Like there's only going to be certain games that want to be on game pass. So you're going to be limited paying 20, 30, 40 a month or whatever the hell they decide to put it at. But that's the problem that if too many companies, too many large companies acquire different companies under it. Now we have a problem of you. They're going to be able to charge whatever they want to get us to buy it. And going back to what you said a lot of people won't do that protest they'll just keep buying it and bitching just, and, and and i do want to point out and you may disagree with me here and i know we're kind of we're, we're kind of getting like off into yeah. the <laughs> yeah <laughs> but this is like this is like super interesting um like i stopped paying for game pass like when party chat became free right yeah um like for what you get with game pass like all the games like uh, let's be honest we were kind of like not paying for what it was worth, right? Like a yeah. dollar for what it is, $15. Yeah. Like, I don't know how old you are, but I can look at you until you're old enough to know how shitty it was to pay back in the day for video games. Yeah, you know I'm what 30. I mean? Like that's, sh- yeah, yeah, that shit was, <laughs> that shit sucked. <laughs> back, like to ask your parents for like 60 bucks, yeah, 50 bucks, like, like no, bro. Like you can get one game, and then you better not ask for anything. Yep. For like six months. Yeah. So like, like literally have thousands of games at your fingertips for, you know, twenty bucks or you know whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of a steal, but like to keep on inherently raising it, like everything else. You know, we could talk about you know the price of streaming and how everybody left cable because it was expensive and now streaming is yeah extremely expensive but yeah yep. um 150 dollars a month is wow that's an interesting take that's an interesting take i i mean i want to eventually create a cloud gaming plat- platform and i mean there's obviously details that have to be combed over but um the $150 a month for like an unlimited amount of games like you can get 
anything, that is might be the future that we might be seeing. Which is not bad. I mean, being able to play any game out there for $150 a month, no, any game no, at any not. time. No, it's not. No. That, that I, it's a steal when you think about what it is because you figure – if you play three games, you're winning. If you you know, if you just if you know you want to play three games, you're good. If you want to try anything, you know, it's it's a it's an absolute steal. Yeah. But you know, to ask people to pay $150 a month in climbing, you know, yeah. whatever. But yeah. yeah. I digress. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's also the other thing I thought about too is, you know, buying the three games. That's 120 bucks at or well, uh, yeah, it's more 100%. Than that, but yeah. So 100%. That's a that's my other arg- argument for it, but I think $150 it would be a steal for unlimited amount of games, but that's the problem is building that library to get to that point. Once you mm-hmm. get to that point, then it's like they'll be able to charge and this this is more of an Xbox example. They'll be able to charge whatever they want and people will most likely buy it. There'll be people like me that you and I will probably be like, ah, I don't know about that but then they'll be like but then we'll be like all right well if i want to play six games like the only the only difference is is warzone like games like warzone like battle, battle royales that that are free it's mm-hmm. like why well, be paying 150 dollars a month wouldn't be worth it if that's all i'm playing is fortnite warzone right. you know what i mean so yeah, yeah, yeah the the only incentive that that would be good would be like maybe you get like 20 or 30 percent off the store items or something if you were to go there but now right. I'm just get, now I'm just giving out my ideas to the world. But <laughs> that's no, uh, yeah, no, we that's can, we can get on topic because that like this that's like a whole that's like a whole thing. Like yeah. does that that's insane. But, yeah, I mean, I I'll probably want to have you back on. I mean, there's other creators that I've interviewed that you've probably have seen. Like, I definitely want to bring them back on and talk about stuff like this and kind of get more of an you know like get more opinions on like what I want to do, you know, what, what, what I think is yeah. happening in the gaming space. So we can definitely talk about that in like another ep- episode, but we are on R. question R. five R. out R. of 20 Google, Google stadia. Oh yeah. Right. Well, yeah. that's, that's really what I want to replace, but the quick off topic again, <laughs> um, stadia was the thing that was going to bring that into a new realm, but there was definitely stuff like the fact you had to buy the hardware not good like somebody should be able to use their hardware that they already have to play something like to play a game it was like 200 yeah. bucks too or something like that to buy yeah. just buy just the hardware and then there was like a subscription 15 dollars a month or something like that or 20 dollars a month or whatever mm-hmm. to go so that was their that that was one of their biggest mistakes because they they're they're forcing players to buy a new piece of hardware a new platform that they didn't ask for so that that was the other thing too but in reality i don't know if you knew this i know more of the technical side, I've also asked a bunch of developers that, that I, that I work with essentially uh, the technology is not there yet. Not only internet connection, but also just coding in, in general, it's called WebGL. Have, have you ever mm-hmm. heard of WebGL? WebGL is not there yet to be able to render a game like call of duty or something like battlefield or something like that. So you'd never be able to get those games on Stadia like effectively without nerfing the graphics down to shit. Um, right, right, right. So that that was really the big issue, but it can do a lot. It's just that the framework is too old. So I'll have to like, we'll probably have to figure out a way to rebuild it, or um, you know, again using an app, kind kind of like what Netflix did. They they build their own app so you can kind of control everything, and then you have to self host it essentially. Yeah. Interesting. So sorry, I just wanted to let you give you a little you're bit good. more knowledge you're on good. that. <laughs> but yeah, we you're could definitely good. talk more more about that. Um. I, th- I I asked I asked you this already. Just want to confirm you're not a you're not a full time streamer any, any, or at, no. at, at, at all, right? I, that is that is the goal. That is the goal, though. Okay, a hundred percent is the goal. I know I can do it. It's just just a matter of when. Um, yeah, like we're we're way past the time of like you know in, you know blowing up overnight. Yeah. Um the growth I've seen this summer has been crazy. Uh so it'll happen. It'll ha- yeah. it'll happen. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think about, I mean, it's, it, it's time really. That's, that's what I feel like it is now. It's just a matter of time and keep keeping up with the, the latest technology, the latest talk, the latest games, the latest gameplay. Um, ha, have you seen the Marine Warhammer 4000, uh, Space Marines 2? Did you see that game yet? 
I have not. I thought you were gonna say like Marine, like the movie with John Cena. No, I no. I thought no. that's where you were going no, with no. that. Like because no. she paused. <laughs> no, I was like, trying to what? I was trying to remember the name. I couldn't remember the name because it's I've seen have you ever seen the Russian Badger on, on, on YouTube or even on TikTok yes. or yeah. Yes. He he played it. That was the first time I saw the first one, and then I saw yesterday on TikTok somebody talking I forgot his name. Uh he was talking about it on TikTok and it was uh the Space Marines 2, and I was like, ooh. That that looked like a fun game the first time. I never played it. I, w- I actually want to play the second one, but it looks like it's going to be insane uh, as far as graphics. Like I, I've been trying to find a game. I don't know about you. well, you 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 love Apex. I, I've been trying to find a game that kind of can replace Call of Duty. That's mainly what my channel was was about. It seems like my audience wants to see G- GTA Six content, but I'm like, well, that's that we that's all we know right right now is all the stuff I've posted so 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 far. So you can't when really is go GTA too far. Six even coming out. Uh, what de- I, what the, the rumor, the, the rumors are 2024 or 2025. That's the rumors. So next year or the, or the year after they're going to probably that'll make be, an announcement at the end of this year when it's going to be out. a heavily saturated game, but that is, I'm, I'll, yeah. I'll definitely play that. Um, yeah. Yeah. GTA I've, is always super fun. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, and then and that's really what I've been trying to do too, is get games to last more than just like a, like a year, which is not what Call of Duty is about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the last game that I played for more than like an hour um, is GTA Five. Like Call of Duty is just not good. To, like I just don't enjoy it. Like, yeah, Fortnite horrible to me. I love what they do. Like as far as like content, like yeah. stuff like that, like the gold mine. But it's just not fun. Yeah. Well now, well now they have the UEFN. The uh, they pretty much made it in, yeah. in Unreal Engine, so now people yeah. are making their own versions, which is definitely going to keep the game lasting a long time. What what, mm-hmm. what what are your thoughts on on that one? I mean, I I mean it's smart, and I like that. Like that's the I think that's like the one good thing. Like that Unreal Engine is just like just so insane. Like just how good it is and how stable it is. I wish I wish Apex would just like just try. You know what I mean? Because it's just like on <laughs> such, and I don't know like a ton about that, but I know that like from what I understand, and I, I know I have a couple or a couple of developer buddies like who say like, yeah, this this is just on like a shit platform. You know what I mean? Like it, it like it's just I just wish they would try. That, that's my opinion on that. The game that I love, I just wish they would try. Like if you yeah. look, look at GTA Five, how success like GTA Five is a decade old, right? Yep. At this point, yep. Like, look how much longevity that has. Yeah. That's really what I want for games, though. I really want the longevity. I'm tired of the Call of Duty way, you know, just like... I mean, how how old is is Apex? Like, five years years. old? Four Four four, years. Four years? I mean, that's still... That's longer than Call of Duty. (laughs) Let's put it that way. So... Yeah, I mean, the long the we need the longevity back in games. That's what I think will also help kind of bring us into a better fu- future for gaming. Because ha- having titles every year or every two years is just not it's it's just too much. Is then it just becomes a cash how, grab? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just like people like this like Mortal Kombat has like zero replayability to me. It's just like oh <laughs> finishers. Oh, they brought uh, what's the guy from the boys' names? Uh, Homelander. Yeah. Oh, Freddy Krueger. Like, this is yeah. dumb. Some some Mortal Kombat kids are going to be very pissed about that statement. That that's fine. I can't like, wait to make that into a short. It's going to be great. <laughs> that's fine. Like your game has literally been the same since I was like six. I don't know. I don't remember when Mortal Kombat came. Like like it was cool. Like when they showed like the. You know, like the bones breaking inside. Yeah, but it's the same thing with like Jason Momoa in the game. Like this, it it's dumb. <laughs> like you can play it for an hour, and then it's just like, okay, finish him. Fatality, <laughs> blood, guts. What am I gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> the same thing. The, the same thing with Ronaldo. Like, what is this? Yeah. It's it's a very uh it's a very repetitive platform with different skins essentially. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 13 Ultra Gold like what what? <laughs> <laughs> so what was the uh, defining cool. moment for you where you said you were going to go full time and you wanted to start the content creation slash stream? Um, I think it was like my first video that got some traction, 
and which was like a it was like a a head like a video like where a revenant just walked up onto up up to me like i got no audio typical apex and um i was just like hey did somebody recommend a headset for me and like i knew it was the audio but i was just like farming comments and yeah. honestly it's not like a particular moment but like that was like the first video i'm like oh this is kind of cool um but like i've never been good at apex and i'll never be good at apex like because I think a lot of people are good at Apex because of they they grew up on shooters and stuff like that. Like, yeah, uh, I don't have the dexterity for it, and I think that uh, there's there's two ways to stream. You can either be really good at the game, or you can be really entertaining. It's hard to do both. Yeah. Right. Um, yep. Like, I don't know if I, was, I don't know if I want to say this, but um, I don't know if Ninja is like, inter- like really entertaining, but he I know he was really good at Fortnite. Yeah, right. Well, he, he has his like, moments. He has his moments. Yeah, He's, yeah. But like, that's the thing. It's like you're concentrating and you're playing, and then you, they're entertained. That's what I noticed. Like Tim the Tatman, Ninja, Nick Merks. Like they're good, but they have, but they have to concentrate. If they're like looking at chat, if they're talking to like their fucking girlfriend or whatever, like if they're being a- entertaining, they suck. And then Tim isn't like that good, but uh, you know, don't feel bad about talking shit about people on the podcast because, like, sometimes well, you know, <laughs> it makes sense. Whatever, but yeah, whatever credibility Ninja had, like, he lost it when he was on Tina Tap Man stream not too long ago, like, kind of shitting on people. I don't know if you remember that. I kind of like, caught a like, couple clips of it. He's like, "You peaked back in the come on, bro, don't don't do that." But like, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to argue with this game that I'm not really being paid to play. I'd rather just be entertaining. I know yeah. that I'm funny. I know that I'm entertaining. So that's why I'm glad, you know, that I'm able to just like host customs and just like commentate. And like when somebody's like, oh, like when they miss a bunch of shots, I'm like, oh shit, that building is one HP, and people laugh and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to do that. And yeah. like when people come in my comments are like like you're like generally a good dude and like they just have a good time. Yeah. Like that's how I know I can make it. Cause I always wanted to be a stand up comedian. I just never had the balls to like get up and stand up. Yeah. Cause like if you boo me, I'm coming to the crowd, I might whoop your ass. Like, what you just say to me? <laughs> you mean I'm not funny? <laughs> yeah. I'm not the big dude, the small dude in the audience. Yeah, of course. Boo. No, yeah. You don't want to you, know you don't want to like, challenge hey, up, foot, you know. Five yeah. foot one dude over there. What you say? <laughs> not you six foot eight dude, the dude behind you with the glasses in the wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? Like Oh god. Uh so yeah, just like moments like that that uh like helped me that uh like just let me know that I can but I could. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I uh, this is that you. We kind of touched on this a lot, actually. But do you think you're an average gamer, or do you consider yourself a, a, an above average gamer? Definitely not above average. Um, <laughs> to, to, like I, I seem to play better when I don't play with anybody. Yeah, for me too. Whatever. I don't. I don't. I don't know why that is. Like I have my moments. Like I've, I like I, my most kills in Apex is twelve, you know what I mean? Like I've, I've, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I can. <clears throat> my problem is I have horrible game sense. <laughs> like when I'm in a building, like and there's multiple levels and there's like a whole <clears throat> lot going on. I'm just looking around, like well, what's going on here. I don't I don't know what I don't know what's going on. If <laughs> someone could teach me, if you're out here, if you see this, and you can teach me how to know what's going on. Please email me at irikofawesometv at gmail.com. I, I legit <clears throat> don't know what's going on. We we could play a couple of games. I, I'm i pretty I've, – I've, as you said before, like I've grown up on shooters. So I, I kind of – I have game sense just nat- naturally. I, obviously, when I first start playing a game, I don't. I've played Apex a fair amount. I, I just think it takes too many bullets to kill somebody, but at the same time – it's I like I've one clipped so many people, but you know, it's just, you have to have more aim for long. You have to have good aim for a longer period of time than on call of duty. Call of duty. You're just like pop, pop, pop dead. You know, it's like, it's easy. Yeah. So yeah. The, t- the time to kill is way longer. Yeah. Aim, way longer. Which is what I like, which is what I like about the game. Yeah. Another thing that I used to, and I've gotten a lot better than this, you know, like, you know, white shield, blue shield, purple shield, yep. red shield. I used to 
like, oh shit, I hit him 26 red. I got a white shield. I'm full sending. Yeah. Like I used to, uh, bro, I used to get so, I hit him. We got to push, right? I, I used to be so bad at that. Like, like I said, when I first started, I used to have two shotguns. Like, no, no, you can't push. What do you mean I can't push? I, I hit him. Like, I'm, I'm going in. I threw a grenade. I hit him. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going in. Like, yep. I used to, I, I used to be, like, I've gotten a lot better from, like, watching some people. Like, I've hired yeah. some coaches who, like, help me. Um, like, PVPX, who's the Dark Zero uh, coach, who they, they've won, like, every land. Yeah. Uh, so there's been some people who uh who who've helped me out. Uh but yeah, no, I am we'll, we'll call it average. We'll call it average. I'll be nice. I'll I'll be nice to myself. I mean, you know, I I I would say I don't even know. I mean, me and you are probably in the same skill tier honestly. Like I what have, have you been playing ranked this season? Uh not really. I I've yeah, got like either. 40 games. I've got like 40 games in. So I've hit diamond twice, um, masters last season, like everyone else. Um, but yeah, like you know, yeah. I'm rocking my masters badge and trail proudly. Who's okay. your favorite legend? I don't even know if I have that. Lifeline, yeah. lifeline, lifeline. Yeah. Easy. Why? Because I need to heal. When you take <laughs> as much damage, when you take as much damage as I take, you need those heals, like. I, you need the extra I, space for bats, so you don't have yeah, to carry the syringes and the med kits. <laughs> like, people need to stop <clears throat> acting like they don't take damage, okay? Yeah. Like, people need to stop acting like they don't. And I'm carrying like 24 shield cells. In the end game, <laughs> you'll need them. Yeah. And you'll ask. Because I, <laughs> yeah. I, I use my mic. Even if yeah. you don't use yours, I use my mic. Yeah. Do, does... <sighs> Does she still have the pa did she get a passive ability where she can carry more shield cells or something or med kits or something? Or or, or is it the backpack? Uh, no, she just, no the, the the gold bag gets the extra stuff, but like she okay. just gets that stuff in her she just gets that stuff in her alt. So okay. she gets bats and all that stuff in her alt. I thought there was some I thought there was a character that could carry more Fe Phoenix kits or something like that. Wasn't that like No, that's just a that's just a gold bag. Oh, the okay. gold bag. So they, the gold bag used to be the the gold bag used to, when you picked them up, they used to get all their health back. Yeah. And then the knockdown used to be self res. They okay. got rid of self res yeah, all they, together. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. No, that was, yeah, that, I, I played, I think, one season ago. I got, I got to either diamond or platinum or something like that. I don't remember the exact ranks. It was like blue. It was like light blue. Probably diamond. I don't know. That's that's diamond. Yeah. So I've gotten a diamond before. That's probably my highest rank. I just, I did because I also didn't. I don't. I don't have a team. So like you know, I I never really played ranked because I just never had a team to play with. So I was always playing with with randoms, and sometimes they would make some stupid decisions. And I know you. Solo I know you. Is hell in a yeah. Solo yeah. Hell in a I know you make a lot of videos about people being mean, and like a lot of times. I, I mean, I don't talk that much, you know, I'll, I'll put my mic in. If people are talking, I'll talk, but like some, sometimes they will make the stupidest decisions. And I'm like, why are you pushing a team of three by yourself? When you're, they were right next to us. And all of a sudden they like got one hit on them and they just run like they, like they, they will do that. And I'm like, you got one hit. There's three of them. Why are you going by yourself? They won't even tag or anything. They'll just like, I'm still trying to find a gun or some am ammo. And they're like, they're just running onto the next team. That's why I'm always aware of where my teammates are and then i'll go help if i can but sometimes i'm like you, you can die i'm not gonna fucking lose my rank because you want to rush a team of three by yourself one of the one of the worst things to be in apex is actually a good player because you think you can <laughs> you think you can like do everything yeah um like in my customs like there's some really good there's some really really good players and sometimes when, I, when i'm spectating i'm like he shouldn't have pushed this. Like he thinks he's gonna win this fight. Yeah, he's not gonna win this fight. Like you just think, like, oh man, doesn't matter. I'm about to, I'm about to wall jump, peacekeeper this dude in the face. Yeah, up, I'm dead. Like it, you, you, there needs, you have to have a balance, which is why I'm just in the background. Go ahead and hit him for 180. I'll hit him for 20, probably, maybe. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> I got you. I think I can hit him for 20. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. But what one of the things I noticed too, I don't know if you have as well, um, you gotta push with your team. 
Like if you, even even if your team makes a bad like a bad push, you still can 100%. win. You still can win if you don't, don't put. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't agree with it, you just got to doubt. You just got. I I said that last night. Even if you don't agree, like you just got to die, especially in pubs. Who cares? Yeah. Just just go. Just yeah. Just just go. Just play. it'll make even you a better you player too. It, you might you might win. You you, you yeah. just might win. Hundred yep. percent. Um, do you think TikTok has been putting smaller creators at a disadvantage late lately? No, no, no. That, that's bullshit. <laughs> I think that's something. <laughs> I think that's something that like is made up. That sounds like the man is holding me down. I can't get a job like that's That's bullshit. <laughs> um i've never i've never seen an i've never seen an instance in content creator history where someone actually puts in the work and it doesn't pay off it it just doesn't it just doesn't happen yeah you know what i mean like i'll just use myself as an example because i am still a small creator Eighty thousand followers on tiktok really isn't even a lot you know what i mean um yeah. there was a time where I posted every day, I responded to every comment on videos that had a million and a half views. I liked every comment, whether I didn't agree with it or not, and it paid off. If, yeah. and, and that's in addition to, you know, me working, me streaming, me editing. Like, if you aren't willing to do that, I don't want to hear anything about the algorithm. Oh, TikTok doesn't want to, they're suppressing my views. First of all, your videos suck. Like it's literally an ex, a, a rip from Xbox. Like you just there's no editing. Yeah. Like it. Like you don't even understand what makes a good video. Like you see, like sometimes you'll see a video. It'll be like 45 seconds, and it only needs to be like 19. The video starts with them reloading. They'll they'll walk up to the fight for 11 seconds. Yeah. When it could have started, of them getting to the fight yeah you know what i mean like people don't even understand like no one sorry not no one people don't want to put in the work so i don't want to hear at a distance i don't even know what that means most people are fucking lazy yeah well e even with your views down you don't think that you're you might be being put at a disadvantage nope i just nope. got to figure out i just got to figure out a way to get my views up I, I just out of I, love that I, I do not I do not look at life like that. That's why um when I posted that video of that dude calling me the hard R yeah. and stuff like that, I wanted to make sure I post when I posted it on Twitter, I wanted to make sure that like I was not looked at as, as like a victim. Yeah. Because I am not someone who like like, oh man, like, you know, typical Fuck it, typical white man. You know, like, I, I don't even. I, I don't. I don't want to be looked at it like that. Like, nah, bro. This is just fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like, yeah, man. Here, here comes the man holding the black streamer down. Yeah. I don't want to be looked at like. I just want this dude to leave me alone. Yeah. Um. That. That's it. So, like, if you, like, if you're not posting a lot, if you're not responding to comments, building a connection with the people that take time to respond that respond to your video you're doing it wrong because people people notice that stuff like i respond to people's comments they're like oh my god you reply yep like people appreciate that stuff if you're streaming and someone comes in your chat and says hello and you take four fucking minutes to respond to it because you're in an intense 1v1 in a fucking bronze lobby you're doing it wrong <laughs> like, that's just what it is like you have you have to try harder sure like does tiktok favor ass and titties yes because dudes jack off the ass and titties you know like that's the, you know if like but there is a space for everything else there just yep. is yep my you know my algorithm is not that but like you just have to figure out a way to find a niche, find your own lane. Yeah, I agree. How often do you host those custom matches? It's called those custom lobbies. Three or four times a week. Nice. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, sometimes Saturday. How, how, how many times a week do you stream? Five? Uh, so. Three or four times a okay. week. Okay, got it. So it's, so it's every stream almost. 
Yeah, I don't. I, I have not played Apex on stream since like May. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I saw the numbers. I'm like, well, what is the point of playing? Yeah, I suck. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Oh, I still ha- I still have a stream key, so I have the the luxury of uh like having both. And then Harris Heller came out with that plug in for OBS, mm-hmm. so I can just multi stream. Yeah, I do not like I was like I suck. Like I'm not doing anything revolutionary with my gameplay. People <laughs> want customs, I'll give them custom. Do you? Uh, well, you kind of already answered this, but do you see content creation as being a long term career still? Ab- absolutely. Um, I am, I am working, I am in this, uh, I was accepted into this YouTube accelerator program with the TSM, uh, content manager Hmm. and he gave me some really good advice. Um, I need to change the type of YouTube content that I make. Uh, so I'm kind of, so like right now I'm working on, uh, his Watson story, uh, like how he became the people's champ, like how Hmm. he one uh algs and rally even though he didn't actually win but all people talked about was him Mm. instead of the actual winner yeah so uh i'm gonna focus my youtube to more cultural stuff about apex as opposed to gameplay and stuff like that yeah and i think that'll like really help my youtube because it has more shelf life so i think once i stabilize that i think i'll be able to do uh like full time sooner uh sooner than later that's actually great advice that's actually something i was thinking about but obviously not i I actually was thinking about making it more um obviously talking about the games but also kind of like the guests that that i have on kind of going in depth onto their rise to fame so that might actually be a Mm -hmm. that's actually good advice so that might actually be something I, i might consider in the future but did he share? Did he, did he share anything else w- with you? A- any other ins- insider tips that, that you could give to anyone who's who's uh, watching? Um, so I'm in week two of it. Uh, so I mean, if you're doing YouTube, you know, the intro is extremely important. Uh, you like in your intro, your first thirty seconds, you should have, you know, a lot of different changes. the The intro to your video should almost be like a TikTok. YouTube intro, like if you're doing, uh, specifically if you're a small creator, like the, hey guys, you know, it's YouTube creator coming back with another video. Stop <laughs> doing that shit. Like, <laughs> you only have, like when you have your video, you have your thumbnail, your title. If someone has clicked on it, your thumbnail, they look at your title. They're like, oh, this seems interesting. You now only yep. have a couple of seconds. For them to continue to watch so hey there it's the youtube creator is not going to do it your intro has to expound on the thumbnail and title treat it like a TikTok. lots of lots of cut scenes if you can depending on the top type of video you know yeah auditory stimulation stuff like that uh if you have if you can afford it epidemic sounds subscription stuff like that where you can use music sound effects um i mean that would be the best thing is your because your intro is extremely extremely important yep Uh, that's that's where i would start that's what i've been really focused on i I worked on the intro which is 43 seconds uh for two weeks damn and i just (laughs) I, I kept saying, I kept sending it to him. He's like, no, this isn't, you need to change this. You need to change this. I'm like, okay. And it's just now done. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. I can't wait to see this. You, you have to send this to yeah. me after on discord. So I can, yeah, take a I'll, look send, at I'll send, I'll send you the intro after this. Um, well, I'm talking about the full video, but yeah, the intro yeah, is yeah, fine yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, w- actually, what is your favorite air heirloom in, in, in a pathfinders? Pathfinders. I don't own it because I've spent like less than a hundred dollars on Apex. But the only lifeline I have is only heirloom I have is lifelines. But my favorite one is Pathfinder. Which video series did the best for for you on TikTok? The tap Strafe stuff. Yeah. If you want to call that a series, um, I'm working on uh, impersonating Imperial Hal stuff. People are enjoying that one. Yeah, that that um, one's I'm funny. A, I'm gonna do another one of those this weekend. Um, 
but yeah, the tap stretch stuff. But the one where um, I think the one I'm most proud of is the uh, getting a win in the Masters lobby with a P with two P twenty twenties because that gun is so bad. <laughs> um, it like and it's 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 not like I could just hide and do it because that's easy. I was like actively pushing fights yeah. and trying to do it. It's just such like you have to shoot someone like fourteen times, <laughs> and it becomes progressively harder because you know red shield. Yeah, like it, it was. It took me three days playing like for hours to do it. It was it was yeah. really hard. What's your favorite worst gun in Apex? Worst gun. My favorite worst gun? Yeah. I don't know if the Mozambique is considered a worst gun anymore, but I'll say the Spitfire because everyone hates it. I kind of hate it too, honestly. <laughs> the it, the it recoil just, like, on it's weird. Like, everyone hates the Spitfire because it's like it, ha- it has way too many bullets yeah. for it to be so such an aggressive gun. Um, But, yeah, the Spitfire for sure. Hmm. That's funny. Uh, what do you hate the most about Apex? What do I hate the most about Apex? The player base, honestly. <laughs> I think they cry too much. <laughs> so it's a really good game. My understanding has its faults. The audio, like, cause I know the audio is probably the worst part about it, but I feel like. I didn't die because of the audio. I feel like I died because I suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it would have been nice to hear him walk up to me, but I I can't say for certain I would have killed him anyways. But it's just like Apex makes a tweet like, hey, uh, we we fixed a bug that, you know, uh, where everybody lands with a red shield, and we fixed that. Like, just this major problem with Apex. Fuck that. What about the audio? <laughs> That's not what the tweet was about. You know what I mean? Merry Christmas from Apex. What about the audio? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're, just, they're just spreading a little Christmas cheer, bro. Yeah. Like the, yep. the player base, like, it's just a lot of crybabies. Well, I mean, there's audio is- issues in almost every one of the ba- battle royales, except for Fortnite. I haven't really heard much about Fortnite, but Call of Duty definitely. There's audio issues all the time. I think I, I think a lot of it has to do with the engine that Fortnite is on. It's just like so amazing yeah but it's just like it's either play, to me it's always been just play or don't play if the audio is so bad don't play why do you consistently spend money on a game that you swear is just so terrible yeah it, it exactly. doesn't make sense it makes, it, yeah, it makes, never zero makes sense. sense to me oh my <laughs> god this game is so terrible here's my credit card <laughs> <laughs> um what which map do you like the most on on apex World's Edge. World's yeah. Edge. Why is that? Um, I feel like it's like the most balanced map for ranked and pubs. Like KC, I like a lot, but it's a terrible map. But yeah, it's KC's a really good map. Um, it's just really bad for rank, like terrible. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy playing pubs in on King's Canyon a lot. But I think World's Edge, and I think they I believe if World's Edge they like designed as a ranked map, so I, I would say World's Edge for sure. Nice. Um, if you got all the huh, this this is this is something you have to think about. If you got all the money back from the amount of money you spent on games, how much would you have? E- ever like microtransactions, games, consoles, e- everything, computers. Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. Because a lot of it would be from my childhood, for sure. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Probably be like 20000 That's it? It's not. It's So I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, so. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe like 50000 Yeah, that's a little, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah, it, maybe like 50000 I've had, let's see, cause I can, I, I know I've had Nintendo, Sega, N64, Dreamcast, Xbox. X, oh yeah, it's like fifty thousand, yeah, like <laughs> like fifty k, like fifty k. Yeah, I think mine's upwards of like twenty. Uh, what's yeah. 
if you well, if you had to add, add up all the time that you were on games from the start to finish, what what or at least start to, until now, how much time do you think you uh, spent playing games? Years, months, days, weeks. Um, I think it. I I think it would be like a couple of years because I've spent. I've uh, I think I looked at it. I've got like uh, I've got like five thousand hours on Apex. Like I like I like I and I like. If if I could track it, the amount of time I spent playing Tony Hawk is probably insane. <laughs> That's like, they need to the have. Am- they they need to add that to every game. The time tracking. <laughs> Like the amount of time I spent, like spent, like playing Tony Hawk, two uh, X, yep, was insane. Like just trying to like get like million point tricks, like it. I was a deviant. Like I was, a, I was a degenerate, bro. Like it was, it was, <laughs> it was crazy. What? I spent more time playing that than I play this for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's always Sonic, that one game. Sonic yeah. Hedgehog one, two. <laughs> yeah. I never beat Super Mario Brothers three, never, ever. really, wow. never beat it. No, not not it's, not even once. Not once. Mike Tyson Punch Out, never. I I never beat I I never beat King Kingdom Hearts. That was another one. That was another one. Ne- never beat it. Came close. Not really. I still had like probably like five maybe four or five boss battles left but i that was like as far as i got and i couldn't i couldn't complete the boss battle i think with like the guy that was your friend and then you had yeah, to like yeah, yeah. face him i couldn't i couldn't beat that one my my, my health wasn't high enough <laughs> there's a there's a lot of games that i left unfilled i think i need to like like just spend some time like going back and beating games yeah I've right never i might get an emulator or something because <laughs> like i know like Mike Tyson Punch Out isn't available like anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I might need to spend some time and like cl- uh, tie up some loose ends. Yeah, I agree. What is gaming to 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 you? Um, what does it mean? Gaming is uh, it's like friendship. Uh, it's an escape, but not like an escape from reality. Just like it's just like an escape from like. Yeah. everyday life like just like i just want to chill for a little bit um i've met some really cool people via gaming like none of my none of my irl friends play video games none of them really so no none of them i only have a few uh you know by design because you know i don't I, I don't think you should have a lot of friends because i just you know yeah i agree but yeah like Someone that I talked to the most, like, uh, I met him in a random game of Apex. You know, you have that one game where you, like, run the lobby down, like, hey, want to run it back? You know, and you just run it back again, and you just, you know, you friend him, and you just keep playing. Like, we text each other all the time now. We have each other's (laughs) phone number in real life. Like, one day, like, we're just going to, like, go to a football game. You know what I mean? We just haven't made it happen. You know what I mean? That's what what gaming is about. You know what I mean? To, To me. Yeah, like no, cool, that's cool stuff like that. That's admirable. I mean, there's definitely people. I mean, you've you just said it. I mean, I've had people that I I haven't met in person, but I definitely like I had their number. I texted them. I went to high school with some of them that I didn't even know yeah. until they were gaming. Um, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, no, that's 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 probably a lot of different pe- people's stories. But yeah, that's that's a that's humble, and I and I and I and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like you see people like there's like love stories like yep. they just play together for months like that's so cool like they, that's so cool yeah you know what i mean like it's there's inspiring. a lot of yeah a lot of there's like a lot of weird stuff that happens like in Discord, like discord kittens <laughs> or whatever but like that's like then there's also like real love stories that's, yeah that's, that's 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 really cool um how much uh sorry if you could make any game slash franchise last forever, which one would it be? Halo. Yeah. Halo or Tony Hawk, but I, there's no coming back with Tony Hawk. That last game was so terrible. <laughs> um, but it would be it would be Halo. Um, Infinite wasn't good. Halo Five wasn't good. So I don't know if there's a. I think there's a place for it because it's so popular. Mm. Um, but I think they need to get the right people like steering that ship for halo yeah but halo i think 
should run forever because I think it's such an iconic uh, franchise. Like I think Halo is like one of the more important uh, game franchises like in gaming history. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, the terrible show didn't help. <laughs> or what people think is a terrible show. I enjoyed the show. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Halo. Halo for sure. I think should there should be like a Halo forty. Yeah. <laughs> um. Easily. Yeah. Um. Did you? Is your so which which? Sorry, if you said it. What's the specific Halo game that you would want to last forever? Halo. Everyone says Halo Three is like the best, but I enjoy Halo One the most mm. because I think I, I I think I remember. I think I just have fond memories of like playing that with my friends, yeah, and stuff like that. Like remember you had the split screen, um, like back in the day you used to do the Slayer. And like you used to look at people's screens and like look and see where they are and stuff on those god awful maps. <laughs> Halo, Halo, Halo One for sure. Um, yeah, it's like the one I would like preserve, put it in a time capsule. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I didn't play Halo, Halo much, um, but I but I did uh, I did bond with one of my friends that actually died. Um, a few years ago over it um Already i was i was over yeah it's okay i mean he's he was a good guy but uh you know he ran into some uh some issues with drugs so that was his uh his downfall but yeah no me me it was like what as soon as i heard that he died too like that was the first thing that i thought about was that night it's kind of it's kind of crazy the things that you think about especially if you hear you know hear a death usually at least they say you you know you remember them in the fondest moment you know when, when you hear something like news like like that but um, it kind of made me cry a little bit, but I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a man, so I'm not allowed to do that. So I, <laughs> you can cry. Don't let them tell you you can't cry. When I, when I, um, when I saw, I don't know if you watch wrestling or not, but when I saw, I do. Ray, Ray Dave. Wyatt died, um, the other, the other day. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't follow wrestling nearly as much, but I know who Bray Wyatt is. I'm like, wow. He died at 36. Shit. Damn. You know what I mean? That's young. And he, like he didn't die of anything crazy like most wrestlers do. He had COVID, which gave him heart problems. Mm. Uh, died of a heart attack, which really it was really sad. Yeah. Well, it makes you think, right? You know, life is short. You got you got to take advantage of it. Yeah, for sure. That's all the questions I I had for you, Reek. Um, tell the uh, tell the audience where they can find you. Well, um, first of all, thank you so much for having me, man. I had a blast. Um, hope to be back. You can find me on Twitch at Irik of Awesome, uh, TikTok and YouTube, Irik of Awesome TV. 